Hello class, welcome back. Today we are going to do our warm up and then our stretches and then we are going to do an activity that focuses on our word of the week, equality. All right, so make sure you have enough space to move around and let's get started with our warm up. All right, go ahead and start by jogging in place. Good job. Want to get those arms pumping, get those legs moving. Let's get going. And go ahead and switch to some jumping jacks. And go ahead and transition to jogging in place. And go ahead and switch to some jump rope skills. You can do the single jump. You can go ahead and do a crisscross. You can jump backwards. You can jump one leg than the other, like the avocado's doing. As you can tell, we have a theme going here. Back to jogging in place. Go ahead and do some jump squats. So you're gonna squat down and then it jump up and then it'll squat down and then jump up. Squat down and then jump up. All right, go ahead and transition back to jogging in place. And transition to skipping. And go ahead and try out some flossing. I guess if the avocado can floss, so can you. <laughs> And go ahead and switch to some bicep curls. Just pretend that you're holding some weights in your hands and curl your arms up. That's working out your bicep. Those are bicep curls. And back to jogging in place. Keep going. and relax all right so next we're going to work on our stretches go ahead and start with your right arm across We've come a long way from where we began. And switch. Now put your left arm across. When I see you again, when I see you again. Damn, who knew all the plans we flew, the things we've been through, that I'll be standing right here talking to you. And go ahead and do your right quad stretch where you're going to pull your foot behind your bottom. You'll feel that stretch in the front of your leg. Go ahead and switch. Now you're going to do your left quad stretch where you pull your left foot towards your bottom, balancing on one leg. You're going to feel that stretch on the front of that leg. You, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. 
All right, transition to the floor and go ahead and do the butterfly pose. And go ahead and extend your legs and reach for your toes. Now go ahead and flip over and we're going to do our cobra stretch where you're going to lay flat on your stomach and then you're going to just start extending your upper body up towards the sky. Don't extend it too far to where it hurts. You should just feel a little stretch. So if you need to be on your forearms instead of your hands, that's okay. And go ahead and transition to our child's pose. Remember, you're going to be on your knees and you're going to have your bottom back on your heels. You'll lean forward so your forehead's touching the floor and extend your arms. We've come a long way from where we began. And go ahead and transition to our downward dog pose where you're going to be in that upside down V. Go ahead and relax. Okay, so now we are going to move on to our activity for the day. So today we are going to do what is called a body spell. So in other words, we are going to spell a word using our body to form the letters, okay? So we're going to spell our word of the week, which was equality, all right? So for equality, we're going to start with an exercise just so that we can get our body and our heart rate moving, our heart rate pumping. So let's go ahead and start with frog leaps. All right, go ahead and squat down and reach for the floor and jump up. Squat down, reach for the floor and jump up. Very good. All right, so our first letter for equality is the letter E. So I would like you to try and use your body to form the letter E. So first, I know we could use our hands, so it depends on which way you're facing, but there's the E, all right? And so you could form either the letter E with your hands, you could form it with your arms, you could form it with your whole body as you see that the boy is doing in the picture. So go ahead and form the letter E. Good job. All right, let's go ahead and do some bicycle kicks. Remember, you're going to lay flat on your back. I want you to pedal your legs and twist your upper body back and forth, left and right. And go ahead and pedal, pedal, pedal. Get that heart rate pumping. Good job. All right, our next letter is the letter Q. Now the letter Q might be a little hard to form with our body, but I want you to get creative. You could form it this way. You could 
form it this way. You could form it with your entire body. So good luck on trying to form the letter Q. All right. If you want, you can even form the lowercase Q or the uppercase Q. It is up to you. All right, let's go ahead and transition to our next exercise, which is going to be lunges. So remember, with lunges, you take a very large step forward so that you can lower your knee towards the floor, and then you step back. And then what you're going to do is you're going to step with your other foot. You're going to take a large step forward, lower that knee to the floor, and step back. And make sure you keep alternating step with one foot, and then the next time, step with your other foot. All right, go ahead and do those lunges and make sure it's a nice big step. Great job. All right, our next letter is going to be the letter U when we are spelling equality. So for our U, you are going to be on your stomach and you can lift up your legs and your arms just like you see in the picture and you can form a U. Or you can flip it the other way and you can form a U in the other direction with you on your back and your legs and your arms up in the air. It's completely up to you, but go ahead, try and form the letter U with your body. All right, our exercise, since we're already there, is going to be our Supermans. Now remember, when we do our Superman pose, you're going to be on your stomach with your legs and arms extended. You're going to lift up your legs and arms and then release. Lift them up and then release. Go ahead and do the Superman pose. All right, so our next letter in equality is going to be an A, all right? So when you form the letter A, you can do it many different ways, but you can even just form it like you see this guy doing in the picture, which is standing with your feet apart and your arms extended off to your side so that your head is going to be the top point of the A and your arms and your legs are forming this part underneath. And then the rest of your body is that line across. So go ahead and form the letter A. Good job. Now go ahead and transition to a plank exercise where you're going to hold that push-up position for as long as you can. You can either be up on your arms or down on your forearms. It's completely up to you, but try to keep your body nice and straight. All right, now so far we have spelt equality. We spelt E Q U A. So our next letter is going to be an L. I feel like an L is going to be one of our easiest letters that we can form with our body. As you can see, you can form the letter L just like this young girl is doing in the picture. All right, you can do it with your legs extended and then your body straight up with your arms straight up in the air. Also, if you want, you can get creative and you can try doing it in different ways, trying to form the letter L. But go ahead and see what you can do to form that letter. Good job. All right, so now we're going to, to go ahead and do some leg raises as our exercise. So go ahead and have your back flat on the floor with your arms underneath you for support. You're going to keep your legs nice and straight, and you're going to lift them straight up, 
and then you're going to lower them towards the ground. You're going to lift them straight up and lower them towards the ground. Good job. All right. So our next letter is going to be the letter I in equality. So when you form the letter I, you can just stand straight up like she is doing, or you can get creative. It's completely up to you. But form the letter I using your body. All right, now for our exercise, we're going to do the tree pose. Now remember with the tree pose, you're gonna balance on one foot while placing your other foot on the inside of your leg. You can put your arms right here in the center or you can extend your arms out to help you balance. It is completely up to you. All right. Now we're on to our second to last letter, which is a T. All right, go ahead and form the letter T. I feel like this is going to be an easy one and one you can get creative with as well. So go ahead and try to form that letter T. All right, and for our exercise, we are going to do the airplane pose. Now for the airplane pose, you're going to balance on one foot. You're going to lean forward and you can also put your arms out as if they are the wings of the plane. Go ahead and do that. All right, and relax. We are on to our last letter, and it is Y for equality. So go ahead and form the letter Y using your body. As you can see, this girl here is getting creative, trying to figure out a way to do it. I'm sure you can come up with many different ways as well. All right, to finish it off, let's go ahead and do some jumping jacks. Very nice. All right, class, you all did absolutely amazing, and I will see you all again next week, okay? Bye.